OK. So, schönen Nachmittag, hallo. Uh, so, OK. Schönen Nachmittag, hallo. Uh, I would like to show you a project of mine uh, called uh, Flat. It's a library for Python. And, yeah. So it's a library for Python for uh, generating and manipulating digital form of, of fine arts. And uh, to simplify the usage of it, uh, I wrote an application called Even, which is shown there. And it basically is uh, a Python editor on the right. On the left, there is um, a viewer. And it bundles uh, PyPy, which is this JIT compiler for Python. It, it, yeah, it runs on, uh, with Python. And yes, uh, so the, the, the title, the, the first row, uh, it should be uh, re, re, read uh, as three words, as, uh, X, XY, and XYZ. The first one stands for code, like linear uh, text. XY is 2D, uh, for instance, image or PDF. And the third one, the yeah, three, three dimensions, like architecture or something like that. And Okay, uh, I, I will first show some examples and, and then maybe I, I will uh, talk about some concepts more deeply. So the first thing, uh, okay, the library exposes uh, basically uh, three, three main classes. One is, uh, for, one is image for, for raster images. Uh, the second one is uh, scene for 3D objects and uh, light and materials. And the third one is uh, document. And it is the most complex one, so I, I will show, show mainly, mainly the third one. So an object, uh, uh, a document consists of pages, and a page consists of uh, placed items. An item can be um, many things, like uh, text, image, or shape. And OK, I, I will show how it works. Can you see? OK, so first uh, we need to create a document. This is with height uh, units. And uh, so, so this is the source code for the first slide you, you, you see there. And the, so to, to walk you through, so we have this uh, document. We added a page to it, and we created a color. There are many colors. Uh, I, I get to it later. And then we yeah, have some coordinates, and um, we basically shifted the, the coordinates by, by small amount and yeah, uh, draw the text. So it works like this. You, you create a color, then you create a shape. Which is uh, there are there are shapes and strokes, uh, strikes, and uh, these are kind of factories. You you set up a factory to to produce certain kind of objects. Like uh, I create shapes which has stroke and uh, of certain color and certain width and certain properties, and then I place it uh, on a page. And th this is different uh, than what you are used to uh, probably for, from yeah, you, the, the first thing I I, I know of which started uh, was um, PostScript, where you have to maintain the graphic state. You, you set up first the line width, and then you draw a line. Th this, is com this is different. You, you set up a factory, and it produces ob objects of, with certain properties. So that's the first slide. The second slide uh, is base, it's very similar, uh, but uh, this is a demonstration of different uh, shapes it, it, uh, a factory can produce, such as line, polyline, polygon, um, bezier, quadratic, or uh, cubic, and, this, uh, and rectangle, uh, yeah, base, what you expect. And uh, the, the interesting thing about this example is that PDF uh, cannot support quadratic Beziers. Uh, but uh, as you can see, I have only move, move to and quad to, which is quadratic Bezier. So I had to elevate this curve, uh, this quadratic curve, to, to be cubic curve, so I can put it into PDF. <coughs> then the. This example is a yeah, small joke. Uh, there are m many colors, uh, many different color spaces you can use, like uh, 
Grayscale, RGB, CMYK, Spot Colors, Device and, and Overprint. And uh, so I, I here create three different kind of, kinds of red. And yeah, when I regenerate it, uh, you, should, you should not be able to spot the difference. Basically, it's three different kinds of red. Like, okay, maybe so you can see uh, back. Uh, it's RG RGB, CMYK, and spot color with CMYK fallback. And again, I, I create a, a shape factory which has no stroke. It is filled of, of uh, random color, and I place the, the rectangle on a page. <coughs> The next thing are fonts. Uh, it, uh, the library can work with uh, basically three kinds of fonts. One is true type, the, the very basic true type, and then open type with both uh, cubic and quadratic outlines. Uh, it, it's this CFF, uh, basically the uh, Adobe version of open type and Microsoft version of uh, or Apple version of open type. And okay, so so uh, I can open an image. Uh, uh, a font, and I, I create uh, this is a strike which is similar to, to the shape. It, it, it is again a factory which con, which imports a, a font. It, one can set up a certain properties on it, and then uh, put on a page a, a text with uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this is uh, this is probably not what you are used to. This this example with shapes, it, it was rather easy. You have a factory, and it, the factory produces uh, shapes like line or polyline. And with text, it is it, exactly the same, but but slightly more complex. Uh, a strike produces a, either a span or a paragraph or a text. So so text is uh, similar to document. It, it, it is composed. A text is composed of, of paragraphs and the paragraph is composed of spans. So uh, in, in this way, you create the factories with certain properties, the strike factories, and uh, you create, for instance, spans, which you put then into a paragraph, uh, and with many paragraphs, you put into text, and this text you place on a page. And uh, another thing I want to show is, um, is this. Desktop, and uh, I can export uh, a page, or uh, either as uh, image, I will show it, or as as an SVG. So basically, this is SVG, and uh, this example shows that uh, it also works works with kerning. It, it, it is the same uh, two fonts, but uh, I. Uh, removed kerning of the first one, so so you can see uh, this this one is not pretty and this is pretty. Uh, the second the, uh, another example with fonts is that when you have a text, you, you can also chain it. Uh, okay, uh, you, you when you have a text, you can f f uh, put it inside a container uh, like text frame, and you can chain these text frames. So. Uh, so uh, this is uh, this randomly uh, uh, generates a, uh, it, it reads a text from from hard drive and at random it chooses font size and how many columns it should uh, flow into. <coughs> then one more example with text. Okay, and as you can see, it's uh, it's a vector graphic. And another example is. Uh, also with text and uh, basically I, I, I uh, um, draw here uh, all the available uh, outlines or glyphs of, of a font and put it on a page but this time I, I created uh, uh, what I'm showing you is one document and now I created another document I, I created one page there and put um, every every um, accessible character there and rasterized the, the page of, of uh, the another document and, and put it as an image into the first document so so now th this will be more, more clear so uh, what I try to show is that a page can also uh, can be exported as SVG, but also as an image. So, so it it rasterizes yeah, the content. Mm. This one I 
I uncomment it because it's it's a little bit slow. Uh, this is demonstration for uh, 3D scene. Uh, you, you, this uh, this code here is very simple OBJ parser, and uh, here you de define uh, certain materials, uh, lights, and uh, yes, uh, some geometry, and then it uh, uh, renders as uh, to an image. And when it's done, uh, it, it places the result on, on a page. The thing is that, uh, yeah, pro probably to comment, uh, first, uh, there is, this is uh, with height and how many uh, anti-aliasing anti samples uh, it should use. And uh, when it produces this high dynamic range image, then it has to be tone mapped uh, so it can be shown o on a monitor. Yeah, and uh, stand for bunny. Uh, another thing which it can do is uh, it works with images. So, so I opened one image and apply different effects to it. Or uh, yeah, some manipulations. The top left is resizing. It supports for nearest neighborhood uh, method, big cubic, and uh, lanzos. Uh, the the one on the right is it is simple blur. Mm, yeah, and dithering and yeah, invert and flip. Just very simple operations over raster data. Uh, next example is uh, the library also has support for basic charting. And uh, f I needed uh, for, for a home page of this project, I, I, I wanted to show how, how the how the classes in interact with, with each other, so so I uh, we had draw a tree, tree structure out of it. So is this, and uh, th this is something uh, I, I'm t I'm a little bit uh, hesitating to to develop further because there is great op opportunity to to have many charting uh, like functions, for instance, th for trees, for graphs, and for line for bar charts and, and so on. But uh, I, I would rather have the the basic functionality in place, and th then I can play with with different chartings. And the last one is, yeah, is another kind of chart. This time it, it displays basically two or three three D data. Okay. I have to. Oh, it was for, for an article I wrote about light breaking, where I compare different uh, algorithms for light, light breaking, and this is the result of how, how, it, how it behaves, how an algorithm behaves in terms of how many uh, words there are online and how many uh, words there are uh, in, in total. And okay. <coughs> That's it. So uh, these were the examples, and okay. And uh, uh, by by this by this presentation or, or this meeting, I wanted to release a version 2.0.2. Currently, the, the version is 0.1, so it's very early. But I wanted to uh, uh, release new version, but I didn't manage to. Uh, the the things to expect. I I don't want to uh, generally talk about how, uh, what features I, I I would like to have, but uh, for 0.2, there, there will be for sure uh, kern, kern, okay, basically when you have open type, there are uh, tables which define certain uh, data structures uh, inside font, and uh, as it happens uh, for kerning, there are two tables, and I support only one, and I promise to one guy that I will implement also the another, another table, so I have to finish that. 
And okay, to very short uh, about what I actually trying trying to do or, or what is the library good for. So one thing is that uh, obviously it it is it can be used for for layouts which can be automated. So so you have certain I don't know, design manual and and then you you only get new data and and you want to preserve that manual that layout and export PDFs. So that one thing. But uh, but uh, I'm personally more interested into in another thing and that's uh, discovering new ways of how to design because I, I feel this is very different when when I program it's very different than to sit uh, uh, behind more traditional application and okay so and uh, okay the, the the what I tried to uh, the library to be is uh, I, I I try to, uh, to I try very hard. The library is very simple to use. So okay, I, I guess it's time for questions. Okay, uh, one more thing, uh, and I can of course uh, present export the the output. Okay, so this is basically PDF. Okay, thanks. So, any question? Yes. Hey, um, first of all, this is really impressive work. This is really exciting. And I'm wondering, technical question, what are the dependencies for um, drawing graphics, PDF, uh, okay. typography? What are the libraries that you're using? I'm None. just really curious. None. Uh, it's it's all there. Wow. It, it has Super. its own uh, rasterizer, its own parser for open type, its own export and import of JPEGs, CMYK, JPEGs, PNG, everything's Python, everything's self-contained. Ah. This is really okay. good stuff. Okay. Yes, thank you. Any other question? Uh, there's a question. Um, I, yeah, you mentioned the, the algorithm for uh, line breaking. Yes. I, I wondered why you felt you needed to generate something new for that. Uh, I, uh, can you please repeat it? Because Sorry, um, yeah, you mentioned uh, an algorithm uh, f uh, for um, line, line, line breaks, and I wondered why you felt you needed to make something uh, special for that, or new. Mm. I, I'm I'm not quite sure. Uh, I understood the question, but I I, I don't I'm not, I'm not sure if I follow the the, uh, the intent. Uh, but basically, uh, when when you have text which doesn't fit online, you have to line break it. And there is one way which is very simple. And you you put words online, and then you uh, put, when it doesn't fit, you put it on, on the next line, and so on. Uh, this produces sometimes a judged judged uh, right. Uh, Right, uh, jagged, uh, right, uh, no, uh, ma margin, r jag jagged, right, margin, margin, and uh, the the first one who tackled this problem was Knuth in, in tech, and uh, his algorithm. I, I I tried to read the algorithm, but it's uh, it's a bit over my head. So, uh, but it turns out it, 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 the the ba basic basic idea is not that complicated. It basically, it's uh, dynamic programming, uh, which tries many different options and, and uh, uh, returns the one w with the best like score or something. And uh, so, so what what I tried uh, is uh, so why uh, why first why I try to uh, invent new uh, basically uh, I as I. As the library allows you to work with text, I needed line, line breaking, so uh, I tried to uh, have nice line breaking. Can you go there? Uh, I uh, yes, but I uh, I don't I, I I can show it to you. Yes, I have it. Mm. Maybe maybe later I, I cannot find it, but 
Uh, did I answer your questions? Because uh, no, yes, no. This is no, and this is yes. Okay. Um, And uh, show it afterwards. You can sure, re sure. We can uh, do the next presentation uh, and you show it afterwards. Another, uh, uh, at, at this side, this x, x, y, x, y, z, oh. I wrote a whole article about uh, maybe six algorithms for line breaking, and uh, there is also reasoning why I pick certain algorithm. But basically, uh, the one the greedy, uh, no one uses except for Word, I, I think. And then all the, uh, the next five are the, uh, only variations of the same idea with different co time complexities. And I picked the one which has very uh, not the fa which is not the fastest, but uh, for for text which is normally used is very fast and and also is very simple because th there are uh, faster algorithms but uh, slightly more complex. Well, f we can talk about it later. Okay. I think we have to go to the next yes. talk. Thank you again. Thank you very much. <laughs>